Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at three inks from a, a company in the US who do really interesting things with ink. It is Kiwi Ink, um, not to be mistaken for a New Zealand company. Um, these are based, I think, in, yeah, the, in the US. So these guys do really interesting things. Each ink is made by hand. So um, you're buying a, a, you know individual pot of ink, everything is done by hand, down to like the stickers on the bottles and labeling the bottle with the color there. Um, there's no like name labels on any of the bottles or anything like that. This is the 30 mil bottle. Uh, but what they do that's really interesting is they do uh, customizable inks. So they have a standard run of inks, both shimmer inks and simple plain colors, which are really beautiful. Um, but they do these customizable inks as well. Uh, and so um, they have this, you can pick a color and make, get them to match it. Uh, or they do this thing called the Tre Colori, uh, which is three colors, which is what this particular ink is. And we're going to look at three inks today. This is the first uh, one I'm just going to show you to talk about the brand, where you can choose the color, the sheen, and the shimmer. You can also dictate things like the wetness of the ink and stuff like that. And they make it all by hand, which is so, so cool. So I got three inks. I got this one, which uh, is one of the Tricolores, which is a, a blue with red sheen and like it's a silvery greeny sort of looking shimmer. It's hard to kind of really pick it out. I got this one, which is a, a lovely sort of dark green with some silver or blue shimmer in it. Uh, which is really nice. I'm not sure if this is one of their standard shimmer line inks or not, uh, but it's a really good example of their shimmering ink. Um, and I've I've nicknamed these inks because there's no name on them. So I've just called this one Spangles, this one Sea Glass, and this last one Hurricane uh, Purple. The Hurricanes being the Tasmania, the Hobart-based cricket team uh, in Tasmania, uh, who I follow in uh, one of the leagues here. Um, and they, their outfit is purple, so I got them to match a color that was pretty close to their purple. So these are the three inks I was sent. As I said, these are the 30 mil bottles. I'm gonna show them on a range of different papers um, and uh, show the performance and stuff like that. This isn't like a full review, more like an overview of what uh, they do. And I think it's really, really impressive. So here they are inked up on Tomo River paper. Now, Tomo River is, as you know, very responsive to inks and sheen and shimmer and all those kinds of things. And I think what we get here is a really, really lovely representation of these inks. Uh, as I said, I've nicknamed them simply because I, they don't have names on the bottles and stuff like that. So this is just for my own purpose. We start with uh, the Tracolori one here, uh, which is the blue ink with the red sheen and the shimmer, which is like either a blue or a like a greeny, silvery sort of color. It's hard to kind of make out. There's a large range that they can actually do with these inks. You should go online and check out their website. The customizable nature of their inks is really, really remarkable. Um, it's a really lovely ink. The sheen is quite apparent, but not overpowering. Um, and the shimmer is beautiful in there. Next is what I've called the sea glass, which has that bluey silver sheen, uh, shimmer. And it's a nice sort of dusty uh, green color ink there, which to me looks like sea glass. And then the last one is the hurricane purple, which I've named it there, uh, which is a really lovely purple, slightly lighter, more violety than say a royal purple, uh, but a really beautiful color. And there's actually a hint of like a gold sheen on that on this paper as well. To what Tomo River does is the, the ink doesn't absorb into the paper so much as it sits on the top. So if your ink is going to sheen, it'll sheen on this paper. Next, let's look at, next, let's look at it uh, on some lower end paper, then we'll have a look at it on Rhodia. So these three here, uh, these inks on student notepad paper. This is reflex notepad paper, uh, paper from like a really basic lecture pad. Um, you see that the inks, they feather a little bit, but these were written with a relatively wet, broad nib uh, and um, on paper that is not fountain pen friendly. It's grainy paper. It's not that tight weave like we like from Tomo River or Rodia, uh, or Rodia actually is coated. Um, but you can still see the shimmer. I'm not sure how well that's going to pick up on the camera here. You can see that shimmer there. Um, and you don't get any sheen on this paper, but we get a lovely sort of idea of the color. And if we look at the reverse, um, you see that it has come through quite a lot. These are wet inks. I did, I, you, this is one of the preferences that I put is that I do like inks to be wet. And so that is going to mean that the performance on lower end paper is going to be a little, um, less friendly. So you can actually dictate, you know, how, you know, responsive you want the ink from Kiwi inks. Next, I have it here on... This is a 
reflex copy paper uh, standard 80 gram copy paper from a you know laser printer uh, once again you get the sh you get the, the shimmer little bits of that hit of the glitter there uh, lovely colors bit of spread and also on the back uh, you know you do get a bit of bleed through happening there but as I said on the other one that's what I I requested particularly wet inks now let's look at it on Rhodia so here are the three inks excuse this this is just like that's rhodia it, it, it happens um so we have the tricolory here which is blue ink with red sheen it said silver shimmer but it could be green it could be slightly gold like it it's, it's hard to get a real sense of the color because there's so much going on in this ink um but i said it's a highly saturated lovely uh based blue ink Sheen and Shimmer uh, are not overpowering, and it's got a really lovely lubrication. I said I wanted it wet, uh, and that has been given to me in a lovely, a lovely dose there. If we look at then at the water test on this one, you just see how saturated that ink is. Um, once this is dried, once you resaturate it, it just moves. So super, super saturated ink. Um, you still see the shimmer in there, which is nice, um, but it moves around and it shows some of that lovely blue that's in there as well. But uh, you get a, but you can make out some of it, but you do lose a lot of the detail, of course. Uh, next is the green ink with the bluish shimmer. Now this could be one of their standard shimmer inks. I'm not sure. Um, they have a couple that look like this. Um, so I've just called it sea glass for my own purposes. It's a really interesting um, sort of yeah, dusty green. Um, I've called said it's a beautiful dusty green. Good, rich colour, good performance, and nice shimmer. I think of the three, uh, this is probably the one where it performs best uh, in terms of its, you know, writing on other paper and things like that. Um, but the shimmer is beautiful. Like, uh, again, I'm not sure how much that shimmer is going to pick up on this camera, but it's definitely lovely and it's definitely there. If you look at the water test, it's also probably the one that performs best in terms of water resistance. Um, there's still most of the detail is kept. It does move the ink around um, and you know it's but it's still pretty much there which is great and then the last one uh purple and I've, this is the code i gave them and actually i'll put i'll superimpose over this th the color as it comes up when you look at it online and I, i've called it hurricane purple um once again that gold sheen is coming through um i think it's actually a really good match to the uh, color that i requested um it's got a nice smooth feel so it's that lubrication once again, with good saturation and flow. And once again, it's a good performer. The water resistance is a little lower on this. We do lose a, a bit more of the ink, um, uh, but you know, there's a little bit of sort of that gray blue left behind, which is useful. But I think that's actually a really lovely purple and a great color match uh, to what I requested. So if we just look at these again, we've got the Trey Colori there, which is the blue with the red sheen and the shimmer. Um, really nice. Then we've got what I've named Sea Glass. Um, and that's that sort of dusty green with the blue shimmer. And then the hurricane purple, which I think is really beautiful. It's a really lovely violety purple. So these were the three inks that uh, I got from Kiwi Inks. I think they are beautiful. I think the colors are really nice. I think they perform really well. They matched exactly sort of what I had requested in terms of both the color and the properties of the ink. And you can go and look at them and sort of do the customization online. There's the, the, the standard linings, both the shimmer and the, um, the standard simple inks are a lot cheaper than the custom ones, of course, because they're making them in bigger batches and things like that. Uh, the original ones go for about 12 us up from about 12 us and uh the the sort of the customizable ones tend to sort of go from the 25 us ish mark up so they are a premium ink but you are getting like as i said a customizable color i gave them a code and i got the ink that matched so i think that's really really great um i think they perform well and they are doing interesting things and i think that should be applauded and also like supported so jump online check out kiwi inks look at uh you know what they have to offer and um get on board with it um big thank you to kiwi inks for sending these out for um you know to show on my channel and to review and such so i hope you found this video about the kiwi inks interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel
hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products or brands that you think I should be looking at, and this is a, a, an example of that, someone got in touch and said, have you tried Kiwi Inks? Um, so, you know, get in touch, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. I'll, you know, And big thank you to Kiwi once again for supporting my channel and providing these uh, inks. Um, if you, you know, if you want to support my channel, please get in touch. I'd love to chat to you and see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your inks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.